Ah, ah, ah. Hear the word of the Lord. Marriage is designed to take a man to his peak. You can't reach your peak alone. Write it down in capital letters. You can't be all that you are supposed to be alone. The maker of heaven and earth said it is not good that man should be alone. I will make a help that is meet. He didn't say we give you a help mate, flat mate, bed mate, classmate. It's not M A T E, it is meet, M E E T, suitable, fit for you. That's why I say we give you. You can't make it alone. Even the father is not planning to make it alone. He said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Even Jesus, when he came, he didn't run his ministry alone. He went to the river to be baptized by John the Baptist and the heavens open Holy Ghost came upon him. So, all these threats, I can do without you, is a lie. You can't do without her. I can do. I, I was better off before I married you. It's a lie. You are not better off. So you better settle down and let's find out how these things will work. Amen. So when you know what marriage is designed to be, that it goes beyond sex. It goes beyond somebody doing household chores. It goes beyond having children. Children are part of it because God is looking for a holy seed. You see. God is the rewarder and there are many wives that it is only God that can reward you because nobody sees most of the time the wife's labor is not, cannot be quantified, cannot be spelled out but there is no man that has become what he has become without a healthy contribution of the wife, anywhere you see any good thing happening one woman is laying life down somewhere good things and bad things. Sometimes ago, one house we lived at uh, somewhere that um, there was one abandoned house there that some thieves were using as um, hideouts. And one night vigilante pursued them into the place. They went to rob. So they pursued them and saw them run into the house. So they followed them and killed all of them. You know, when they entered that house, you know what happened? They met some women. Thank God for women. Politics is the women. Occultism is the women. Arm robbery is the women. Destiny is the women. Amen. Amen. When, yes, you can put your hands together. But just make sure you are on the good side. When they entered that house, they met two women that were preparing eba and hot soup by 2 a.m. to cool down all the battery of arm robbery when they come back. They are the ones making it easy. That is the name, middle name for the wife. The ones that makes it is Anton Jacoche, Latabe, like underground. Wife's ministry is an underground ministry. And it's only God that can reward good wives for their underground labors in the lives of their husbands. So marriage is designed to take you to your peak. There's something you, can, you should be that you can't be alone. So God puts a spouse in your life. And you must appreciate that. Appreciate what your spouse is to contribute to you and welcome it. Don't discourage your spouse. Don't weaken their zeal in your life by wrong words. Hey, and so what? Are you the only woman in town? She's the only woman in your life. If you mean to make heaven. That's how important she is. Are you the only man around? He's the only man around. If you will ever be all that God wants you to be, you better settle down, appreciate that woman, appreciate that man, and begin to acknowledge the good things that is in them that is supposed to come into your life. I'll come your way tomorrow again. And don't forget, read your Bible to know God more.